Jesus has his eyes on us, watching over the destiny process for our lives. And if I hold on, I will reach my destiny. But I ain't nowhere. I am gonna quit in this season. I'm not gonna quit in this hour. Because God is commanding me to live. David said, the reason some of y'all are emotional is because you're being guided by how you feel. But you don't ever yield to your spirit to know how to act. God is on our side. So weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning.
say, I ain't got to know what you're going through, but tell him, hang on in there. He that shall come will come. Hallelujah. Hang on in there. I think somebody needs to hear it again. Look at your neighbor and say, hang on in there. The race is not given to the swift nor to the strong. But to he that endureth to the end, the same shall be saved. If you love the Lord, give him a praise offering. That's your offering? Give him an offering. What is your offering? Let everything that happens. Everything that Hallelujah, Jesus. Tell me who can stand before him. Tell me who can stand before us when we call. On that great name, Jesus, Jesus, body's got to be healed at the name, demons got to flee at the name, you going to introduce him on me, hallelujah. We're grateful to God. That's my testimony on this evening. Be steadfast and unmovable. Always abounding. I heard my brother singing that Prophet Herod, Pastor Herod. I heard him singing that song that moved my heart. Hallelujah. Help me, church. Tell your neighbor, hang on in there. My mother used to always say, every smiling face isn't happy. You don't know who's going through what. Hallelujah. But the Bible says, be not weary and well-doing. For in due season you shall reap. If you hear this promise, if you faint not. In other words, hang on in there. Listen, we honor the Lord and we're thankful to God for his many blessings that he has bestowed upon us. I want to get out of the way quickly. Amen. We got a treat here on this evening with us all the way from Jacksonville, Florida. Hallelujah. Listen, she's going to introduce, amen, our assistant pastor. We're so glad to have Pastor Prophet Shirley Chris with us. So everyone receive her as she introduces, amen, the great man of God in Jesus. Come on, receive this great woman of God in Jesus' name.
give God all the praises. All go to him. I don't say it enough. Cause my brother pushed me up here. But anyhow, I'd like to introduce to some, some already know the man of God, Amen. the prophet, John T. Harris the third. Let's give him a hand. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. On the count of three, I need you to give God the most craziest praise that you can because I'm prophesying early. I have 30 minutes. There's a miracle on the other side of it. One, two, three. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, Jesus. We believe you, Lord. We believe you to do it. Ah, Oshata Mandi Asoya, Ashande Oba. Just reach one hand up to heaven and say, "I receive it. I receive it." I promise I won't be, I won't be long. But once again, praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. You may be seated just but for a moment. Can we give God praise for our apostle and first lady on tonight? Let's give God honor for them. Come on. Oh, come on. We can do better than that. Let's honor the Lord for them. Oh, I got something for that. You ain't even know it. So dig this. <laughs> can we give God praise for 45 years? Uh-oh. You ain't even know what's coming, did you? <laughs> Do me a favor, let's break Satan's trachea together and say, happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. 45 years. You know, we got some folk that can't make 45 days. Some folk, 45 weeks. And according to my Facebook and Instagram, about 45 months, folk me. I should have been a defense attorney. There's money everywhere. Amen. I, I kid. But we give God praise for 45 years. Amen. Daddy, help me, please, on that right lens. Amen. Devil don't want me to see tonight, but that's all right. Um, give God praise for my lovely wife on tonight. Let's honor God for her. Uh, we, I got to listen. The, 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 the song, you know, be steadfast, unmovable, you know, that's, 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 that's spiritual. But Lord, pray that over her, please, because this, this boy is whipping her tail. Thanks, Daddy. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you, Kia. Love you. Oh, I was blind. But now. <laughs> Amen. But no, no. Uh, driving in the car. You may be seated. I, I, I won't be long driving in the car and you know there's a there's a real demon called Braxton Hicks come on mothers I said Lord and you know because you know us fellas you know we, we never understand you know we will never and so you know I was driving and I had I had I typically drive let me hurry I typically drive with with one hand on the wheel anyway she grabbed my right hand and put it on her belly and I just felt bones just bones Felt like an elbow, maybe a knee, or heel of his foot. I said, Lord, I said, that's fine. These bones is hard, just not his head. <laughs> we, amen. But, and listen, I, I, I'm just proud to report that at our most recent OB visit, he's still healthy and strong. Still healthy and strong. Can I just be real tonight? I'm praising him while everything's fine. His spine is beautiful. The, 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 the ultrasound tech said his ribs look wonderful. Bone mass strong. Organs intact. You see what I'm saying? And in my, I ain't say it out loud, but in my mind, I'm like, that's right, Negro, because you got to preach. Here we say amen. And how many fingers? Good, because you're going to play the organ too. Man. <laughs> Will you pray with me? 
Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for tonight. We honor you in this moment. And we pray, oh God, that you will dwell among us, but again, for a moment. And I pray, God, that your spirit will be made manifest in this place. And God, as I often ask every time I stand, preach me, Jesus. Preach me, O oh God, until somebody be set free, healed, or delivered. Preach me, O oh God, until demons are terrified. But above all, God, preach me until nothing else occurs except you getting the glory. I thank you, God, for what you have already done, what you are currently doing. But most importantly, what is getting ready to happen. We are ready to receive from you. And we declare it to be so. And we say it will not be otherwise. In Jesus' name, we do pray. Those who stand in agreement, shout it, Amen. amen. I'm going to ask that you rest on your feet just for a moment uh, and turn with me to Daniel chapter 3. And while we're turning there, can we once again give God praise for Pastor Cribs? Amen. Amen. I'm going to I'm I'm watch it. I'm going to watch it, you know, I'm because we live, you know what I'm saying? So I, I want this to go on record. She is one of the few. Because, you know, because Apostle, he said it's covered, but let me say it myself. She say she can call me Johnny Boy as long as she live. You know, you know. Watch, you know. Look after yourself. I'm not gonna say proceed with caution because there's no safety there. She can do that because she was there through some. She was there. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. She was there. Daniel chapter 3. I'm good, David. Let's do it. Uh, Daniel chapter 3. Uh, unusual on tonight. I am going to request that you uh, help me preach on tonight. Just look at the person next to you and say, just help the man preach. And if you just, just help me, if you help me, I'm going to get us out of here. Daniel chapter 3. Only one verse. Only one verse. I know that's unusual, but only one verse because we have a lot to unpack tonight. Verse 28. Daniel chapter 3. Amen. And verse 28, and if you have it signified by saying amen. 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 And the word of the Lord declares from the King James Version, it says, Then Nebuchadnezzar spake and said, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who hath sent his angel and delivered his servants that mm, trusted in him, and have changed the king's word, my God, and yielded their bodies that they might not serve nor worship any God except their own God. And all of God's people said, amen. amen. You may be seated all over the house of God for the next 25 to 30 minutes if the Lord uh, don't take over and just slay everybody in here. I'm going to request that you announce my subject for tonight and look at the neighbor next to you like you're angry with them and say, neighbor, neighbor. Fear, not the fire. fear not the fire. Father, help me preach this in Jesus name. Look at someone else and tell them, look them right in the eye and say, fear not the fire. Father, help me preach this in Jesus' name. Uh, people of God, I must admit to you that this is a text hmm, that is often preached not only to the gospel veteran, but this is also a text that is preached to the baby saint. This is a scripture that is known worldwide about the three uh, Hebrew boys, you know, the ones that came through uh, a lot of tribulation in the time that they were living in. But one thing, as I sought God for tonight's message, he drew me back to this text. And come on, preachers, you know how it is. You pray, and if you, if you really are used by God, you don't say, Lord, what do you want me to preach? You say, Lord, what does the house need? And the Lord, he answered me and gave me this text. But usually what I like to do is I like to go through the text and try to extract. But for some reason, Deacon England, he would not let me go of verse 28. I tossed and turned. I said, Lord, I want to read more scriptures. And he wouldn't let me do it, Pastor Cribs. He left me there and he left me there. He led me there and he left me there. He led me there and he left me there because in verse 28, 
there is a lot of buildup that needs to be extracted. These three Hebrew boys, I just want to talk about them just for a moment, if that's all right. These three Hebrew boys, they weren't perfect men. These were not men that, that had it all together, but rather these were men that had a golden qualification. They had no other determination but to believe and trust in God. Uh, can I get a witness in here? I I'm going to say it again until you catch it. They did not have everything together. They, they didn't have it right all the time. They didn't make the right choices all the time. But, but one thing about them that I can stand firm on is that they stood and they leaned on the word of God. If it wasn't God, they weren't having it. If it wasn't God, they weren't tolerating it. If it wasn't about God, they really wouldn't, didn't want to be entertained by it because they understood not only who created them, but they understood who was the blueprint holder of their future. And so in the text, if I just have just a few minutes to lay this preface, these men of God were serving under a king by the name of Nebuchadnezzar. We know about Nebuchadnezzar. We hear about him all the time. But one thing about Nebuchadnezzar is he he was in his own head. One thing about this king is, is he thought he was all of that. He thought that, that just because he was king, that his word was law. Uh, but little did he realize that even though he had power, Kia, even though he had the authority to do what he wanted to do in the natural world, he could not stand head and shoulders to God in the spirit. And so the Bible says that with Nebuchadnezzar, he had an era of time where he decided to go along with this little thing called a golden image. And, and the Bible says that when this golden image was erected, that he put out a decree over all the land that said that when you hear the sound of the music you are going to bow down and worship the golden image. Uh, one thing that I would like to say and I pray I don't get in trouble with our social media family on tonight is that we are living in a world in a time right now where, where it seems as though everything that rises has come to be a distraction to those that are believers in God. We just had what we call the solar eclipse and, and I ain't talking about nobody except who I'm talking about but but all of a sudden we got fear sweeping through the land. Uh, we've got those that have been openly blaspheming the word of God trying to make it appear as though as when the eclipse comes so will our savior. I will dare lift unto you on tonight that the day that the eclipse happened I was a, a heavy piece of work at the job because I was telling folk left and right that the Bible says no man knoweth the day I wish I had help mm, know the hour that the son of man shall come I, I don't care if it's pitch black outside you better know people of God that he is indeed coming back uh, but he ain't coming back on the day you tell me he is Mm, I ain't gonna get no help here. You know when the moon and the sun's gonna cross you. You know when it's going rain in the upcoming week. You know what's coming on the, to the television, but you never know when he's coming back. Uh, one thing that I love about apostles preaching when I was a little boy is he would always say when we was having altar call, the Lord could come back tomorrow. The Lord, come on, say to Anna Athena. That's what daddy said. And he said the Lord could come back in an hour. Hour, he might even come in the next 15 seconds and I remember growing up feeling the conviction of God it's not wondering not even trying to consider what if I'm going to make it but can I tell you on tonight it's okay to not know the next move of God as long as you know that he is in you right. Woo! come somebody shout glory tonight shout glory another time and, and so when you understand who you are in God you're no longer worried about the clock I wish I had time tonight because you often hear me preach and tell you that the God that we serve he's not bound by time he, he's not held back by the minute he is not handcuffed by the second he does what he wants to do that's why I'm glad he's sovereign because even when I mess up and I'm still blessed it's because he decided to do it can I have anybody in here that can 
testify that, that you done did some jacked up stuff in your life uh, and still got a proof for the house. I ain't gonna get nobody to work with me in here, but I, I've made some mistakes, but the, the car still got time to be made some mistakes, but I'm still in this thing called a marriage. I made some mistakes, but I can stand up uh, on my own two feet and say, for God I live and for God I die. You gotta understand that, oh, I'm sorry, I'm yelling, I'm sorry, please sit down. I, I got 10 minutes and I gotta get this word up out of here. So the three Hebrew boys, people of the Lord, they, they were the epitome. They were uh, the living example uh, of how we live, move, and have uh, our being in God. Uh, one thing that we must understand with these three Hebrew boys uh, is that one thing I noticed, I want you to pay attention, is that, is that as we read through the text and about them, uh, at no point, Pastor Cribs, uh, was there ever conflict or problems or division uh, between the three of them. I want to work here. Never in a ten I've ever, never before was, was Shadrach hating on Meshach. Uh, nowhere was Meshach hating on Abednego. Uh, the reason why I would submit unto you that there was divine order uh, is because they were walking, speaking the same thing uh, and believing and walking in the same understanding. That lets me ask a few questions tonight. Uh, that's why you can have a church on the left side of the street uh, and a church on the right side of the street uh, and they hate one another. That ain't God. I ain't gonna have no help here uh, because if the God that we serve uh, is the real God and he is, uh, that lets me know who's fueling you. That lets me know who's powering you. Uh, that lets me know who is strengthening you. Uh, that's why I give God praise that none of the preachers in this church uh, can be bought. I ain't gonna get help here. Uh, I make my own car payment. Uh, the suits I come to church and I got receipts to prove it. Uh, you ain't gonna pay me $20 for a proper lie. Uh, the devil is a liar. I know who's running me. And what's his name? Oh, yes. And so now with the three Hebrew boys, they were never divided. They knew the assignment, as the young folks say. They understood the assignment. They knew that the God that they served not only was their God, but he was the God of the whole world. I want you to write this down for those that are note takers. And I want you to keep this embedded in your spirit. Jesus is not just your Lord, but he's the Lord of your enemies. I'm going to say it again. Calm down, Herod. I, but I feel the Holy Ghost upon me here. He is not just your God, but he is God. I'm going to say it again. He is not the Lord. He is Lord. And when you understand what I'm saying to you once at night, is that when you have a Savior, I'm going to divert from this here. When you have a Savior that speaks to what you were saved from, but when you have a Lord that speaks to who you're submitted to, I'm going to say it again until you understand it. When you're dealing with a Savior, the focus is what he brought you out of. But when you're talking about being Lord, that is who speaks for you. I don't try to hurt no one's feelings on tonight, but the prophet is in the room. I come to tell you that the Lord told me to say unto you tonight, I'm glad. I'm your savior, but am I your Lord? Because those that don't want to be holy can run, but those that want to be submitted can say yes, Lord, to your will. Yes to your ways. Yes every day. And so that is exactly what the Hebrew boys did. Not only was he their Lord, but he was their savior. And so now in the text we have a problem because now now the king has made a declaration and it says that when you hear the music blow that you ought to stop what you're doing, bow down and worship the golden image but isn't it funny because in the world we live in everything is alright except Jesus, everything that we see is against God himself I don't got nothing against my brothers and sisters in the Muslim faith but anytime I can read 
need Ramadan instead of Exmadan. I got a problem. But when we say Merry Christmas, you take out Christ and put an X in it. I got a problem with that. Can I tell you on tonight that the day that we're living in right now, it has an assignment to take you away from Jesus. It doesn't want you to believe and depend on the name of the Lord because the time that we're in right now, although we've been hearing it for the past 60, 70, 80 years, we are really living in the last days. Somebody shout glory tonight. When I was watching the eclipse the other day, I ain't even tell my wife about it. I began to get excited in my spirit because the day was still day and the sun was still up but somehow the moon blocked it and it took my mind to the cross because we're still in the residue of resurrection Sunday. Have you ever wondered why the Bible says that when Jesus was on the cross that the sun refused to shine? I would dare give you revelation tonight. It wasn't an eclipse at the cross. The sun had to stop shining because only one sun can shine. Y'all ain't gonna hear me here. Even the elements had to bow down to the glory of God. Somebody shout glory tonight shout glory another time and so now trouble rose when they didn't bend from their faith you gotta know people of God that this is not just in the Bible but this is the world we're living in right now where they are doing everything they can to try to steal you of your faith I don't care if you're the baddest preacher you are worthless if you don't have faith I don't care if you can hit the highest note in the choir. You have no value if you don't have faith. I feel like preaching tonight. I don't care how suave and debonair. I don't care how cool the hairline is. I don't care if it's fried, dyed, and laid to the side. If you don't have no faith, you have no value. But look at your neighbor. I'm almost out of here, son. But look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, say faith is the currency of heaven. Y'all ain't caught it yet. Y'all ain't caught it with me tonight. And so now the Bible says, I'm about to take my seat already, first lady. The Bible says that the king's head, he said, when you hear the sound, come on, give me a seat. I want to hear the sound of the music. Thank you, sir. They said, when you hear the sound, you got to get down and bow and worship the golden calf. And the Bible says, they looked at the king and said, they said, king, we are not speedy to answer to this. In other words, they were saying, we heard what you said, but we know what God said. What did he say? I am God, and beside me there is no other. And the Bible says that when the music was played, everybody all over the place started bowing, but Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego to go. They were determined in their minds. Come hell or high water. They were not going to bow because they're submitted to the one that made them. I feel like running around this building. I just want to ask a rhetorical question tonight. Don't you know who made you? Don't you know who created you? Don't you know who's sustaining you? Don't you know who is keeping you because Jesus he is the only one who deserves the glory he is the only one who deserves the honor he's the only one who deserves the praise that is why in the time of trouble he shall hide me the Lord is my strength and my salvation whom shall I fear the three Hebrew boys they answered the question the question was nobody not even the king I want to raise conflict how 
power? Do you have power? How? Do you have authority? But somehow can't lay a finger on God's people. I just want to remind you, not only are you saved, not only are you blessed, not only are you delivered, but you are covered. You are covered. Do you remember the crash that you drove by? The reason why it wasn't you is because you're covered. Say yes. Say yes. The reason why we can lay hands on the sick and they recover. Y'all ain't caught it yet. The reason why they recover is because the one laying hands is covered. Y'all ain't caught it yet. There's residual miracles in your line just because you're in the room. Let me walk down your street. You know on your job. Let me be real. Your job didn't flip flop. Bankrupt and lay them off because you're there. Come on somebody. The reason why Bank of America is still standing is because you're an account holder. Y'all ain't caught it yet. Everything connected to you. I'm going to make a mad kid. Get up here, girl. Get up here with me. That's why Satan he don't have power because we're connected in Jesus. Aren't you glad that when you're connected with Jesus, it don't matter what you're about because it's matters who is on you. Say yes. Say yes. Everything about me is connected to Jesus. Everything about me is about Jesus. Why am I saved? It ain't because of me. It's about Jesus. Why I ain't cheating on my wife? Yeah, I was tempted, but it was Jesus that said, hold on. Hold on. Live for me. Are you going to leave me out here by myself? I ain't the only one that's been tempted to go left when God said go right I ain't the only one let's be real I'd rather lay in bed and scroll this morning than go to church say yeah I ain't the only one that wanted to say screw that preacher he in my business but somehow I said Lord thanks for exposing and showing what's on me it don't matter what's on you it don't matter what's around you it don't matter what's talking to you as long as you know what's in you Greater is he. I feel like preaching here. Greater is he. Oh, yeah. That's in me. Than he. That's in the world. Do me a favor. Go to three people. Respect their COVID boundaries. And go to each one. And say, neighbor, Jesus is my Lord. Hallelujah. Say name of Jesus is my Lord. 738. I'm getting ready to wrap it. I'm sorry, Apostle, but I feel good in my spirit. The Holy Ghost numb my tonsil. So I feel like preaching. Shout glory. They went in. Let's go to the text. They went in to the kingdom. 
the music started playing, they decided not to bow. And they said, oh God, they said something weird. I want to raise another conflict. Why? Oh yeah. Why Ashley? When the king decided to punish them. Read your Bible. They looked at him and said, King, live forever. Wait a minute. You're trying to kill him. But still, they sing your praises. Let me turn the knob. Is there anybody in the house tonight that's been mistreated and somehow you still treated them right? Y'all ain't gonna help me preach. Is there anybody that's been dogged by the way but somehow they still received your love? The Bible says that they throw him. The king said, you ain't gonna bow. I can fix that. He told them, he told the soldiers, go to the furnace, turn it up to its hottest temperature, to its hottest possible level and throw them in the fire. I want to stop Lloyd and insert this because I can see in the spirit right about now as I gaze across the room I can see that there's some of y'all that have some fire around you. Let me prophesy there's some of y'all that came in here with smoke on your coat. Some of y'all came in here with steam on the back of your head. But I come to tell you tonight, yeah, it's hot, but there is no need to fear the fire. Shout glory. The fire is nothing to be scared of. The fire has nothing to do with your past. I got good news. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I got good news. Say, neighbor, I got good news. Now watch this church. The good news is the fire has been manipulated. You believe that fire is only able to write this down. Fire is not only found in hell. Y'all ain't caught it. Fire come from God. If you read your Bible, the Bible calls it a consuming fire. Let me tell you like this. The fire on the burning bush didn't come from hell. Did you catch it now? The fire that guided Moses through the wilderness. Satan didn't sponsor that. I got good news. Some of y'all have been looking for the thermostat. Saying, Lord, it's getting hot. But God said, I'm in charge. I got power. I got you in the palm of my hand. Shout glory. I'm about to take my seat. But if you read the Bible, go to Exodus 3. Go to the text. Go to it real quick. The Bible says that they had to go. Verse 16 said Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, Home, Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer 
thee in this matter. What do you mean? You got to be careful of who you talk to. Got to be careful who you answer to. Shout glory. I would dare say to you that if they would have gave the wrong answer, the outcome would have been a whole lot different. But the Bible says that the king got so mad. Look at verse 21. This is why we're reading. It says, then these men were bound in their coats, their hosen, and their hats, and their other other garments and were cast in the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Is there anybody that can testify? I done made some folk mad just because I chose Jesus and they tried to bury me with no remorse. Left my clothes on me. Left my hat on me. I got good news. When you choose the Lord Jesus, don't get mad when they turn away. Because as long as you got Jesus, as long as you got Jesus, you don't need nobody else. Let me say, come on, Cribs. If I got Jesus and lose everything, I got enough to start over. God, if they leave me and I have nothing and I got Jesus, I got more than enough to start over again. Take the house. I got enough. Fire me. I got enough. Post about me. I got enough. Shout glory. Shout glory. Is it all right if I had four more minutes? Is that all right, apostle? Look at your neighbor. Say, give the man four. Say, just four. Just for one more thing, I want to tell you, God loves to use the storm to show you he is God, but also he loves to use your storm to show your haters that he is on the throne, shout glory, that's why I love my wife because she runs the house in my absence but one thing I know about her is when I come home the answer changes from yes and no to ask your father y'all ain't caught it because she knows that when I speak the world stops spinning when I I speak, uh, obedience arrives. Uh, when I speak, uh, there's pain uh, on the other side uh, of disobedience. Uh, why am I saying that? Because uh, as it is with me, uh, so it is with God. Uh, say it. Uh, when Satan uh, comes to you, uh, tick him off uh, and say, ask your father. Uh, Y'all ain't hearing me. Because uh, when God speaks, uh, it's power. When God speaks, there's obedience. And if there is disobedience, pain is waiting for you. Pain is on the side. Shout glory. I don't know about y'all. I hate getting whipped. I hate getting the strap. I don't got time to get beat by God. Can I prophesy? You better to believe we are about to see divine whippings. Y'all ain't saying nothing. 
pastors that ain't living right, about to get beat, bishops that have the title just to be bishops, I'm coming down with my fire, say it, do me one favor, I want to try something, stand on your feet, right where you are, take 10 seconds and give your God the craziest, most wildest, most rambunctious, what? Hallelujah. Right, David, right, David, right. Lift your hands and give them praise. Hallelujah. Because while you're praising, he's bringing you out. While you're praising, he's delivering you. While you're praising, he's bringing you out. I don't know who came in here wondering how God's going to do it. But if I be God's prophet, I declare unto you that before it's all over, God is going to get praised out of you and your enemies. Shout how? Because the Bible said it in verse 28. Yes, Lord. Now I see why you had me. Go to 28. He said, because when it's over, I'm going to get glory out of you and your enemies. And you are going to turn your enemies and to believers just because they didn't kill you just because they couldn't destroy you the Bible says that Nebuchadnezzar spake and said blessed be their God blessed be their God the same mouth that said bow is the same mouth that said blessed be let's get personal the same mouth that says you won't make it the same mouth that talked about you gonna be the same mouth that say it must be God 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 God, you're going to come out of this thing. Look at your neighbors and you're coming out. I got good news before I wrap it up that when you're winning the storm you're in right now, you're winning, feeling defeated, you're winning, feeling inferior, but you're coming out in charge. Y'all ain't hearing me. They're throwing you to the wolves, but you're coming back leading the pack. Say yes. How do we know? Now I'm going to close. The last verse, 29 and 30. Not only did the king bless the Lord, but he took the law that he wrote overturned it and made it clear that if you don't serve the real God guess what he said he said if you don't serve him he said your body is going to be cut to pieces mm, God he said the bones will be split your skin will be severed not only that but there it is the three Hebrew boys in the last verse 
of chapter 3 says all three of them got promoted by the one that tried to kill him. Look at your neighbor and speak life over them. Say, neighbor, you should have perished. But guess what, neighbor? You're being promoted. There's a meme that's sweeping throughout the world on social media about elite employees. I got good news. You have been promoted. You are an elite believer. You are chosen. You are blessed. Touch not my anointing. Do my prophet. No harm. Guess what? Everything that comes your way, if it ain't right, it's breaking off. Say it. I'm done. I'm sorry. Grab hold of somebody, scream at him and say, I'm coming out of this thing. Fear not the fire. Yeah, I know it's burning right now, but fear not the fire. Fear not the fire. Fear not the fire. Cause I'm coming out. Cause I'm coming out. 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 I'm coming. I'm coming out. And I ain't gonna smell like the fire I was in. I got the fragrance of the Holy Ghost all upon me. Shout yes! Shout yes! 756. I'm sorry. Coming out of this thing. I don't care what it is, church. I don't care what it is, church. You're coming out. Prophet, you're coming out. You're coming out. Evangelist, you're coming out. You're coming out. Jamie, you're coming out. Prophetess, you're coming out. Key, you're coming out. Thelma, guess what, Artie Cribs? You're coming out. I don't know what this is about, but I need everybody in this building. Come on, sons, push me, push me. I need everybody to stretch their hands toward me. Stretch your hands toward me. Pastor Cribs, come here. Hurry up, come on, come on, help her. I feel the Holy Ghost. I feel the arrow of the Lord. Wrap your arms around me, Pastor. Come on, wrap your arms around me. Everything that's on and around you, I decree and declare that by the time you get back home, everything will be loose. First lady, get over here. Where's first lady? I need her. Put your hand on her belly. Something's breaking. She's getting a breakthrough in here. Come on, come on, stretch your hands. You ain't going down, Pastor Cribs. You ain't going under. You ain't going in like this. The devil is a liar. Oh, y'all don't want to help me in here. Open your mouth. Shout Jesus. The blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. The blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. The blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. I feel the Holy Ghost in here. I feel the Holy Ghost in here. I... That's all right. Now lift your hands and give them glory. And he's about to hit you right here. He's coming. Come in, man. Come on, praise him. 
Praise him. Come on. I'm trying to move. I got two minutes. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. The Lord told me to tell you, Damien, they tried to humiliate you and tried to give you a reason to not believe in God. But thus saith the Lord over you, I will never let you forget about me. I am your God. I am your source. And I am your strength. Hallelujah. Cover him. Cover him. Hey. I got to get out of here, but I feel the arrow of the Lord. 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 Because the Lord, he told me he's tired of y'all being scared. You are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a peculiar. The devil should be scared when you walk in the room. I feel the Holy Ghost. We gotta go, I'm sorry. Daddy, I'm sorry. It's gonna be all right. 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 Come on, come on, praise him. Come on, praise him. Praise him. Deacon England, Deacon England, stay right where you at, bro. Lift your hands right here. Lift your hands, you. The Lord told me to tell you when you go where you gotta go, I'm turning your tongue into a sword. Anything that's not like God, God said, kill it. Anything that's trying to pull you for Athena, kill it. Anything that tries to crush your faith, kill it. I'm so sorry. There's a reason why I keep telling you to praise him, because the Lord is in the room. Come on. Praise him right here. Praise him right here. Praise him. Oh God. Deacon John. Deacon John, lift your hands, sir. Lift your hands. The word of the Lord is this over your life. The moment you told the Lord yes, the death certificate that was over your head got ripped to shreds. Thus saith the Lord unto you, you are an embodiment of a real disciple. If you would have told the Lord no, we would have never knew you and you'd be six feet under. But thus saith the Lord, you shall live. There's a reason why the folks back at home can't believe you in church. Because, oh God. Because your yes saved your life. I'm sorry, I gotta go. I gotta go. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm trying, daddy, I'm trying to get up out of here the Holy I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm not trying to be funny but I feel the arrow I feel the arrow of the Lord I feel him pulling I feel him gotta go. You thought you came for a christening. You came for revival. 
Come on! Because I know you've been crying at night. I know you've been laying in your bed crying because you've been wondering why they've been treating you so bad. But God told me to tell you, I'm about to try everything. I'm just... I'm trying to be quiet over here. Mama, I need you again. This, Mama, I need you. I need you to go to Tierra. Put both your hands on her, please. One on her belly and one on her mouth. I mean no harm. But I listen, if I be God's prophet, I gotta prophesy to my own. Tierra, look at me, girl. God told me to tell you, life is going to be real hard until you accept the call of preaching the gospel. God told me to tell you, I'm going to say no to every request until you say yes. I just heard the Lord say, the reason why Johnny Boy's in the belly is because of you. The reason why he's in there is because of you. It ain't because of me or her. God told me to say it. It's because he heard your prayer. Everybody's standing. Everybody's standing. Everybody's standing. Everybody's standing. All right. Apostle, I'm sorry. Fear not the fire. Fear not the fire. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. I got four words for you. Only you know what this means, Elder. But if I be God's prophet, thus saith the Lord, it's on the way. It's on the way. It's on the way. All right. We got to go home. Come on. Come on. It's Bible study. We can't be acting like this. Come on. Midweeks. Woo! I'm sorry. Let me correct myself. It's midweek series. I got to chill out. You got to chill. Come on. We have an audience with the Savior. And he's in the room right now. You can have the world, I'll take the favor. One more time, look at somebody next to you and tell them, say, neighbor, next time you wonder how I'm doing in the fire, tell them, say, neighbor, it's because I got favor in the fire. I know I am who I am, but I feel my daddy's anointing on me right about here. I feel my daddy's power on me right here. Grab your neighbor by the hand and say, feel the fire, feel the fire, feel the fire. Oh God. Come here, feel the fire, feel the, hey, feel the fire, feel the fire, feel the fire. 
burn! Feel the fire! Feel the fire, prophet! Feel the fire! Hashandi o mama masia. Oya da baba basande. Yala la handi ni oni ni abasanda. Esa toya na mama ase. Esondri ara bo hosama. Ega da bo sa. Idi ya da bo da baba sande. It's going to be all right. It's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right. Put a little preacher in your voice, will you? And look at the closest person next to you. Put a preacher in your voice and say, it's all right now. No, 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 no. I need you to preach to your neighbor real quick and say, it's all right now. All right. The reason why they couldn't die in the furnace is because divine order was around them. And the reason why you can't die right here is because divine order is all around you. Power divine. Glory divine. All right. We, can we go home now, please? All right, fear not the fire. I'm gonna do this just because I know who I am. Praise him. Open your mouth. Hashandi Oba. Heshe Koryama. It's so cloudy. It's so damp in here. Oh, Shandy, oh, Baba, Baba, Shandy. Oh, the Baba, Baba, Shandy. Hmm. Open your mouth and shoot your voice. Let the devil know I'm in the fire, but I still got my praise. I'm in the fire, but I still got my voice. Even in the fire, let everything that have breath. You can take my friends, you can take my reputation, but devil, you can't take my praise. I'm going to do this for my mama. Open up your mouth and shout, shut up, devil. All right, we got to go. I'm sorry. Come on, come on, come on. We got to. I was going to I was going to scream this but I'll say it instead in the text that we just read and we just preached when they were in the furnace Nebuchadnezzar ran up to it and he thought sure they were dead says that when he looked in the furnace mathematics was defied when he looked in the furnace one plus two equaled four apostle I promise I, I promise uh, apostle can I just say one thing real quick you ready I got prophetic revelation from one thing about that part because we think that when the Bible says when two or three are gathered in my name I'm in the midst just meant church did you catch that that's why you gotta watch who you connect with because even in your storm in your in his in his name he's still in the midst Y'all ain't caught it. 
even in the fire that was in his name. Can you suffer in his name? Can you endure in his name? Because even when you're warring, he's in the midst. I'm trying not to give too many nuggets. Damon, you want to know why the burning bush wasn't consumed? Because God was in the midst. The reason why the three Hebrew boys didn't get consumed is because God was in the midst. Let that be a warning to all of us that regardless of what you're going through, keep him in the midst. Because as long as he's in the midst, you have no fear in the fire. Father, we thank you. We magnify your great name. For you are holy and you are God and you are everything. Thank you, O oh God, for helping us understand that as long as we have you in the midst, we will never be defeated. Help us, O oh God, to find strength in knowing that you are the source of our strength. We will remember this, God. Strengthen the one on tonight that's dealing and battling with their own fire. Help, O oh God, the one that came in here with a smiling face that's not happy. Mend the broken heart. Restore the contrite spirit. And we will give your name the glory, honor, and the praise. This is our prayer on tonight. We declare and decree it to be so. And we say it will not be otherwise. In the matchless name of Jesus, we do pray. With the clapping of our hands and the opening of our mouth, we say amen as we gather our things. As we gather our things. See, see, if I have more time, I, maybe I'll preach this later. But if I have more time, Pastor Cribs, I talk about what happened to the ones that threw them in. You want to, you want to, you know what's crazy about that? I know I'm trying. You want to know, you want, let me talk to myself. You want, you want to know what's crazy about that? The ones that threw them in died without going in. Tay Tay, they didn't even go in the furnace. They died from the proximity. That's why it would behoove the fake and phony one not come near you. Y'all ain't caught it. That's why apostle often say, watch how you handle me. Because cause ain't it crazy? Ain't, ain't it crazy that the three Hebrew boys ain't the one that told the fire to kill them. They just died. Just died. Touch not my anointed. Do my prophets no harm. All right, let's go home. 817. Chipotle closed nine. I'm okay. Come on, standing all over the house. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, oh, it's 10? Glory. Glory. Oh, now I really ain't fearing the fire. Come on, stand up. For those who can, please stand. For those who can, for those who can, no, 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 for those who can, mother, you're good, mother, no, mother, please, please, Pastor Chris, please, amen, amen, daddy, am I missing anything, okay, um, it's online, amen, all right, y'all, we going home, while your hands are lifted, if you were blessed tonight, holler out of your mouth, say, I was blessed tonight, now may the grace of God this week communion of the Holy Ghost rest ruling about with us both tonight and forevermore until we meet again in Jesus' name. Those who know they have no fear in the fire shouted amen. 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 You are dismissed in Jesus' name. Look at somebody and say, fear not the fire. Amen.